The, the research output of an institution is a key factor in determining its status. An institutional repository, as we already have had, is an online archive based at an academic institution in which academic authors can deposit their work with the intention that it will be publicly available in a digital format. It is searchable and is accessible via an intranet or the internet. An institutional repository addresses academic needs in the digital environment. They offer seamless access to digital resources that reflect an institution's past, present, and future intellectual interests. It also provides functional support to collect, preserve, index, and distribute digital scholarly content by giving online access to an institution's intellectual output. IRs contribute to the status and visibility of an institution on the global scene. The benefits, I'm sure these have already been enunciated, they include opening up the research output from the university to the world, preserves the university's total intellectual outputs, act as a resource for research assessment, promotion and similar exercises. Authors benefit from more visibility, I think this has been clearly stated and indicated by the previous speakers. Readers, the NAS community, especially the students, tend to benefit from the availability of research output, as in most cases, it is more relevant to their studies than material from elsewhere. The institution benefits from better ratings. They raise the profile and prestige of an institution. And those of you who have been following these rankings will notice that we rank quite low, probably worse than some universities that have got poor facilities than us. Mostly because, as you noted from the institutional report, the number of zeros are alarming. <laughs> and the more we begin to populate that, we will see our ratings improve. But they also support the institution's record keeping. Because we are publicly funded, the, those, the making the research output visible helped us in accounting for the use of public funds. And the public, too, can easily access it for making policy, should they need to do that, or for other developmental needs. The IR also act as a way for the institution to show its social responsibility by giving back to the community that it serves. One are the times when academics publish for other academics. Only. I think society expects us to have outputs that are useful. In its 2011 2015 strategic plan, NASA is a strategic goal and commits itself to provide access and publicity to research work being done at the institution. To show its commitment to achieving this goal, the university purchased a server and desktop computers for the IR project. The library has set these up and trained a dedicated and competent team for the IR, and we have already demonstrated that. The name of the NAST Institutional Repository is is spelled N-U space, but it's pronounced as new space. It was derived from the institution's name, NAST, and the software DSpace used to run the repository. DSpace is a freely available open source software. It is the most widely used repository software worldwide with a large number of community, of large community of users. The use of open source software to host the repository it's also testimony to NAS commitment to the development of technical skills at a local level. As the source code for the software is freely available and can be modified to suit local needs. Furthermore, the server runs on a free operating system, Linux, saving the institutions in, term, in terms of annual license fees. One of the major challenges that IRs in African institutions have faced is that due to various reasons, they have remained largely constrained to intranets, rendering the research output invisible to the outside world. And we've heard why some of that. I'm very delighted that new space is publicly accept, accessible from anywhere on the World Wide Web, becoming only the second university in Zimbabwe to achieve this. To facilitate quick access, links to the new space repository are available on both the NAS website and the library website. 
And I think Mr. Ngobi has already demonstrated how we can do this. I'm also delighted to note that new space has since been registered with the open direction of open access repository, open door. Open door is a well established and authoritative project that lists and classifies academic open access research repositories. It aims to provide an all inclusive quality control authoritative list of such repositories for end users who wish to find particular repositories or who wish to narrow down the searches by location, content, or other measures. The listing of new space on open door has the impact of making the repository more visible and this content more used as it can now easily be found by end users as well as by search services. University libraries the world over have taken the initiative to spearhead the creation of IRs in support of open access to research information. By sharing its knowledge resources, an institution helps to accelerate the creation of knowledge. These institutions endorse the principle that publicly funded research should be made publicly available and attempt to provide a web-based repository access which, to which is free and unrestricted. Commit to support members of their local communities in depositing materials by providing advice and services as appropriate. Agree to undertake activities advocating the use of open access repositories as a way of informing scholarly communication within their own communities and, if appropriate, beyond. I encourage all academics at NAS to deposit their research in no space. <coughs> Depositing your work in new space will guarantee maximum visibility of your research globally and also to improve the profile of NAST as a research institution. Those zeros would, would seem to indicate to the world that we are not doing anything. So I think whilst we can be proud that we are now registered with a worldwide uh, organization that provides us visibility, that visibility is not flattering if we get zeros. <laughs> And I'm, but I'm assured that the Library and Research and Innovation Office will soon be organizing workshops and training sessions for academics to familiarize themselves with the IR concept and how they can both contribute and benefit to raise awareness and address issues such as copyright etc. Ladies and gentlemen, with these words and with the authority vested in me, I officially launched the National University of Science and Technology Institutional Repository. Thank you.